Hello, my name is Nayama Safaya Sandy. I am the curator of Black Magic Afro Past Afro Futures. I set out to create an exhibition that examines what magical realism, Afrofuturism, and the intersections of all the lessons and iconography that our ancestors left behind for us. What does that look like across the diaspora visually? What does it sound like? What does it feel like? What does it taste like? And I think that the show as it exists right now at Corridor Gallery is an encompassment of that. Um, there are seven artists in the show. The first is Arnold Butler. He's based in Atlanta. He's a self-taught uh, painter. What he's able to do with the color, and particularly, there's a certain style that he does, and he uses his paint to do figures that just have a face. They typically don't have a body. Next, we have Soraya Jean-Louis McElroy. She's based in New Orleans. She's a mixed media collagist. Her work is incredibly powerful, the work that's in this show. She has two pieces. It's, one is called The Shame of America, and it actually interrogates a hanging. Next, we have Roger Bonner Agard. He actually has a sound installation in this show. His poem, How the World Was Made, a super crown. So just for those who don't know what a super crown is, it is a series of sonnets, wherein the last line of the preceding sonnet is the first line of the next. Next, we have Odd Can Create, so she has one piece. This is actually a London-based artist. Really looks at, again, these iconographies that we use and we look at as African and what does that mean and how do you, as a person who, like, in her case, grew up in, like, the north of England and is totally removed from the context of blackness in a lot of ways, how does that happen? Three of the pieces are collaborations with DJ Underdog, a prolific graphic artist, to take his images and reimagine them. The three pieces are wheat paste. I did them in Paris, Iceland, and Istanbul. I believe in collaboration. I believe in growth. I believe in um, cooperative economics and things of that sort. And I think that's what the future of Africa and the Caribbean and the diaspora is. My videos are inspired by Reimagining Africa, um, bringing the future forward, so to speak, or bringing the ancient futurism um, aspect to things. Um, I think inspiration is a driving force of all art. Um, we take from different things we see, even past artists, and just really want people to reimagine a different world. I met him, he was he was in the, in the art studio. I used to come by and chill, and he was always in the studio painting, always. And I was like, man, I wish I could paint. I got more respect for him than anything else because that process is a lot more um, strenuous. I wish I had the talent that he had as far as computers. And I think it, it's really good to have like analog and digital. Um, I have three pieces in this show. All three pieces are inspired by the Nat Turner plantations, and it's um, the Mende woman, which Mende hails from Sierra Leone, West Africa. And it's imagining her being on the plantation during slave times, like what was going on, what was happening. There's a silent communication between the viewer and the woman or the spirit. Well, I was really impressed about the, the pictures. I definitely didn't know, like, uh, the background and what Nayama was writing about, like the black magic. That was beautiful. Um, I especially like the uh, the Delphine Fawanda pieces um, set on the Turner Plantation. They were beautiful and very evocative, kind of mysterious, and she really captured that. The art in here is really uh, it's it's really doing what I wanted to do, and, and inspire me and give me some thoughts about uh, what I want uh, to see my future looking like.